Happening now, there are now some extra hands in the tax office in Starr County. But will it be enough to deal with the backlog caused by December's raid and arrest of the former tax assessor? CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz finds out. Long lines at the tax office and DMV in Starr County Thursday. The office was closed since the interim tax assessor collector, Martha Garza, officially resigned Monday. And we're ready to work. Juan M. Cantu is replacing Garza. She resigned in part because there weren't enough employees to help ease the workload caused by December's federal raid. But Cantu isn't worried that the backlog will overwhelm his staff, and that's because he has some extra hands helping out. The girls are telling me that the uh, the numbers are going a little faster. Monday, commissioners gave approval for three more tax office employees to be hired. In order to expedite the process, Cantu transferred two county employees to the tax office and hired an additional person. He says overall, residents have been understanding of the situation. Todos sabemos que tenemos que esperar, así es que ni modo. Cantu's appointment caused some controversy because he is currently running for the position of tax assessor collector in the March 1st primary. But he tells CBS 4 News he doesn't think filling in for the position before he's elected will give him any kind of advantage in the race. You know, the way I look at it, for the next 50 days, I want to be tied up inside this office. I'd rather be out in the community. His opponent, Ameda Salinas, did not return our calls for comment. In Star County, Annalise Ortiz, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Cantu says the tax offices in La, La Grulla and La Victoria are expected to be open by next Tuesday.